So, Barry, what's the latest of 5G and what's a um, little bit of feedback from you um, or what Mark's said? Uh... Well, I mean, the only way to definitively prove um, what's coming out of these transmitters. <clears throat> the industry, I have known the industry, the same as Mark has for many, many years. <clears throat> and if anything, they are very, very good liars. Um, <laughs> I say it as it is. Um, I, I've known them lie. I've known them be responsible for deaths. <clears throat> Uh, they will disguise anything to look like anything. Uh, so <clears throat> the only way to definitively prove for a court of law is to have a full range spectrometer um, with the pulse frequencies uh, without telling them when you're going because they'll turn it off if they know you're going. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> Have a full range spectrometer and say, there you are. Yeah. You know, that is within the 5G range. Um, because they will say, oh, well, it isn't it? It's at the very fringe of 4G or the very fringe of this or something. Um, <clears throat> but, um, I mean, all you need to do is get a decent spectrometer for the 5G. I mean, you're basically going from uh, sort of a millimetre up to nine millimetres, really. Um, <clears throat> get a spectrometer and say, there it is. That is in the 5G range. So what I did when I knew you were coming, Mark, um, and you'll have to forgive me because I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I just prepared <clears throat> some notes that you can take with you. And I thought, if I were Mark doing this talk, um, like you, I, I have friends all over the world um, who send me information, bits of information. And what I did yesterday, I collated all of, not all, but a lot of the important stuff I have on 5G. You will have to believe me when I say, I have documentary evidence for what I'm saying because there's several hundred research articles there. <clears throat> um, I have documentary evidence for what I say and, and I thought what I'll do is write this out with, with, without insulting your intelligence, I've written it out in Janet and John, so when you're talking to people who are not physicists they can understand. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I thought I'll just take 10 minutes to go through it and then you can come back at me. Is that all right with you? Sure, yeah, absolutely. And you can take this with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's copyright free, obviously. You can yeah. take it with you. <clears throat> um, and I just thought I'd run through this, <clears throat> and then you, you can use use any sentences or any bits and throw them into your talk as well. Yeah. Or not, you know. Um, this is what the evidence I have. Um, pulsed microwaves were used to cause harm way back in 1949. That's documented. Uh, both neurological and physiological harm. <clears throat> in 1972, which is the first I can go back to, 5G was used as a weapon. It was used for crowd control. Again, to cause neurological and physiological harm. That, that goes back to 72. <clears throat> In 1997, it was uh, further developed. It was developed over those years. But then in 19, 1997, 1 to 35 gigahertz was introduced as a better crowd control weapon. 5G in this country tends to start at 28 gigahertz, according to my knowledge. So you're well in the, the, the 5G band here, 1 to 35 gigahertz. <clears throat> Again, used as crowd control. In 1990, President Reagan initiated Sleeping Beauty, which was to microwave people, uh, 
mainly when they weren't realised they were being microwaved. And in between 72 and 97, you had um, Operation Pandora. That was, uh, again, run on thousands, tens of thousands of people. And, and again, was a big, successful microwave weapons system. <laughs> was it a population subdued, psychologically subdued and program, Barry? You could do anything with Pandora, yeah. anything at all. Um, in 1963, this is interesting, and it's just for the conspiracy theorists, but I think there's something in this. In 1963, President Kennedy gave a talk to, I think it's Columbia University, and he, he specifically, his talk was on microwaves causing harm and preventing what we have now, the systems. And he said, I am going to stop this. I'm not going to have microwave weapons. I'm not going to have microwaves in the population. The following week, he was shot. Is that a coincidence? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> the World Health Organization experts... Um, I put that loosely, Barry, by the way. Loosely. <laughs> yeah, a World Health Organization advisor um, actually came out and said, stop 5G. Uh, I've got some names at the end. A World Health Organization advisor said, stop 5G. Then it was known to kill birds, cattle, tadpoles, insects. 350 environmental organizations from 96 countries have said stop 5G. <clears throat> the Californian firefighters have had a lot to do with. Uh, Californian firefighters have an exemption from 5G. It's the legal bill 649 and the firefighters are exempt 5G because of its complicated dangers to their health. Um, <clears throat> UK, I've got the 5G frequencies 28, 38, 60, 72, 73 gigahertz running either edge of those. <clears throat> Transmitters about every 150 meters, give or take. There's a new weapon just been brought out called Active Denial. Uh, its nickname is the Growler. I know it, it is just above the 5G range, but it is in the 5G. <coughs> it's above what they are putting out from the lampposts, but it is still in the 5G range. It's 95 gigahertz. <coughs> and I do know from military people that this, it was tested on special forces and it just brought them straight to their knees. <clears throat> so at this point, 5G has been used as a weapon for crowd control by governments um, and still is. A professor of medicine has said that nature has no defence against 5G, or in fact the other Gs, but they're all going to be mixed together anyway. Uh, Professor Emeritus Professor Martin Paul, you would have heard of him. Yeah, no, no, no. <clears throat> I gave a talk with him in the States, I shared a platform with him. Um, Threefold damage to the sperm and the egg, phased array, constructive interference, and he confirms that um, insects that have a high surface area to volume ratio would be specifically damaged by this. A lot of people are coming up with that. <clears throat> For humans, and I agree with this from my own uh, physiological training, uh, it, it's going to affect the eyes of humans quite a lot. And I agree with him when he says it will cause cataracts, retina problems, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and 
kidney problems. A professor from Sussex University has said putting 5G on all the lampposts, which is what they're doing, yeah. uh, will cause basically an insect Armageddon <clears throat> because insects hover around lampposts um, and with their surface area to volume ratio, uh, they will not survive it. Um, there are already papers showing this. 5G has to be compliant because it has to be linked, as it is in other countries, it has to be linked to all radar systems, Wi-Fi, smart meters, hospital equipment. It, it's going to be in the Internet of Things. So they all have to be compatible with each other. So you're not just getting 5G, you're getting all of the other Gs and Wi-Fi all thrown into one. <clears throat> Um, interestingly, from what I can gather, the calculations for 5G are time averaged and the data is around a hundred times greater than 4G that's being sent. Um, but interestingly, from what I can gather, uh, it, it certainly is in other countries, the the what they're saying for safety level is actually time averaged now to explain that forgive me to explain that if i fired a gun by your ear the crack of the cordite explosion the, the crack would be let's say a 50th of a second and would be dangerous if i time average it over a second then I divide that by 50 and the number comes down and I say well look it isn't dangerous because I've averaged it over a second and in fact now it's below the safety level so <clears throat> it's just in fact I think there are 13 that I came across mathematical ways to show it is safe this is just one of them so they are time averaged <clears throat> Now, the rollout <clears throat> has already started in Vienna. And as it started, I don't know if you know this, but it started in Vienna <clears throat> for 5G. The unsuspecting people immediately uh, had <clears throat> or suffered from nosebleeds, cardiac problems, heart problems, chest pains, uh, um, fatigue, dizziness, vomiting in fact all of the symptoms of microwave sickness that i've known from since 1932 that's been published <clears throat> now the interesting one i don't know if you know this mark um and you're taking this with you anyway yeah the ussr <clears throat> actually experimented on humans and animals with 5g but actually carried out experiments in 1977 on with 5g and we go back to 72 as well and 97 <clears throat> now we got 77 this was a proper <clears throat> military experiment the humans <clears throat> suffered metabolic problems in other words just everything started to fall apart blood uh, problems the immune systems started to dysfunction and you had severe medical and neurological problems with humans the animals they noticed because you can't dissect humans but they can with the animals well they may dissect humans I don't know um, but the animals they found the bone marrow was suffering which of course produces the immune system respiration was damaged the enzyme activity was damaged, the nuclear DNA was damaged, but the total exposure time was only 15 hours over 60 days. So you're only talking about roughly 15 minutes a day and the, the, the levels were not high, not as high as you're going to get in a classroom or with all the other stuff. Um, and that's only over 60 days. So it has been used as a weapon it has been tested 
experimentally on animals and humans. So <clears throat> all of the people are right when they're saying you're, it's going to make you ill. Um, <clears throat> and I, I've said this, but 5G has to have megahertz frequencies to comply with other transmitters and receivers. Also, it has to have, in other countries, I haven't seen it for this, but I know it has to have it, the low gigahertz frequencies. <clears throat> um, I do know that in some countries, when I've looked at the lists, uh, you have as many as 22 different frequencies when it's fully functional, because it has to comply with all of the other things. <clears throat> and it will be added to Wi-Fi 2, 3, 4G smart meters. Um, <clears throat> so it, it's going to be the Internet of Things. And I thought I'd just go on to, the, to its, its compliance with smart meters, which is actually quite frightening. Because <clears throat> I just made a few notes again from documents I have. <clears throat> Each smart meter has to have two transmitters. One low frequency to go into the house to talk to the refrigerator and the telly and all the other things, and one to reach the main transmitter. So each smart meter has two transmitters. In fact, I had a lady ring me just two days ago, um, who is, her daughters are terribly sick now, and in her house, which is just three flats, they have three smart meters in the one house. <clears throat> um, so each house may have up to around 15 appliances. Each group of houses, a small group, it, it goes from 500 to 5,000 houses in a mesh. Now, when you start looking at the maths at this, <clears throat> uh, like a, a, a little group of um, tower blocks uh, on, on a big estate, <clears throat> you can have as many as 5,000 smart meters, no problem, with as many as three if you've got people sharing a house. Yeah. 5,000 smart meters, two smart meters, or two transmitters for each smart meter. So you've got a thousand smart meters, sorry, five, uh, 10,000 smart meters, 5,000 houses, 10,000 smart meters in a small area transmitting to, or 10,000 transmitters. Each of them, 15 transmitters per house, so when you do the maths here, in one reasonably sized council estate, you can have up to 150,000 transmitters. That's scary. 150,000, <clears throat> and they are producing mostly the, the 5G waveforms and Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz, <clears throat> which is a known weapons frequency and just to round it off I, I wrote here that it's known in the military and published but Stanford Research Institute California did their own experiments and said the two most dangerous frequencies for living structures living cellular structures which is all of nature basically trees animals insects us is the Wi-Fi frequency, 2.4 gigahertz, and 0.95 gigahertz, um, the two most lethal frequencies. <clears throat> and finally, Dr. Annie Sasko here, 22 years in the World Health Organization Cancer Department, has basically said that all of this will cause cancer. Um, Absolutely. No question. Any last words, gentlemen? I think the, the, the priority is not to get it into your schools. That is the first priority because it, it attacks the immune system. It attacks the reproductive system of the girls. 
and the boys, but the girls mostly. Um, the other thing we, we've not touched on, and I'm sure the people putting it, this is out have no idea, are the pulse frequencies. Now, when I was debriefing spies in the Cold War, we had the, the Soviet uh, captured KGB spies uh, and the Americans. Um, <clears throat> I made a list of 30, 40 different frequencies that could cause, uh, of pulse frequencies that could cause 50, 60 neurological and physiological harms to people, which included cancer and death. <clears throat> Today's list is in excess of 750 pulse frequencies. A professor, uh, I always get his name confused with the university, but there's a professor um, who has shown that the pulse frequencies penetrate the skull as, as they would, yep. being microwaves, and actually do go right into the brain. And there is a, a, another professor that has shown they do in fact alter the programming of the brain. There's nothing new there. <clears throat> the first paper on this was written in 64 BC by Ptolemy, uh, who used radiation behind a heated up metal and various minerals behind a, a wooden wheel, solid wheel, and he drilled holes and he just spun the wheel and you got the pulses coming through to the eyes, 64 BC. And, and it was a party game then, although he was a serious scientist, he was a, a Greek living in Egypt. And he found that certain frequencies would cause epileptic fits, photo electric epilepsy. Other frequencies would make people feel sick, collapse, go mad. And it was a party game. <clears throat> It's still being used today. There are now a list of 750-ish frequencies. They have absolutely no idea of the, of the pulse frequencies they are putting in. Because when you start mixing these waves, Cross -waves. you get constructive interference and modulations and pulses. They have no idea what pulses they are putting in. In. And the most common, and I won't go into the brain anatomy, the most common symptoms, and you compare this with the behaviour now of children, and this is published, the most common symptoms for pulses going into the brain are the similar effects of morphine, marijuana, Try stopping addicts taking those and see what happens. Uh, morphine, marijuana, hunger, and not, not ordinary hunger, smash a shop window to get food hunger. Hopelessness, which manifests itself in children as suicide. Very, very common mm -hmm. symptom. Um, <clears throat> aggression. With a certain pulse frequency that I won't put on air, um, with aggression, if it's a certain pulse frequency, it manifests itself in men as sexual aggression. There's another pulse frequency that will collapse the bowel, collapse the lungs, uh, change the eye structure. They will do everything. <clears throat> but hallucinations is common and what I call the same symptoms as lead arsenide poisoning. In other words, you really can't be bothered to get out of bed. And if there was a million pounds on the floor, you'd just leave it there. Um, now, look at the children. Addicted to phones. In fact, we've, we've, we've got cases of children smashing their parents in the fist, with their fists in the face, who try and take their violence, suicide, Aggressive behaviour, look at 
what is being manifested now. One, one quick thing also, you, um, uh, I heard you mention once, Barry, is that a lot of these leaders of countries are blackmailed by the telecommunications industry where they've signed off on something. And the telecommunications, if they say, oh, we want all this stuff removed, all the 5G removed, the telecommunications in this small print, they can say, okay, you've got to continue to pay us what oh, we would have lost out. Yeah. No, no, that's absolutely. That I, I, what the, the industry do is they go in and they tend to target. I've made a list of something like 24 people who are actually controlling 42% uh, of the planet with the, if it does, if you don't get too warm in six minutes, it is deemed safe for a lifetime whole body exposure. <laughs> around 20 just over 20 people and the safety level in this country and the Canada and, and Australia New Zealand lots of Europe the safety level is if you do not feel too warm in six minutes it is deemed safe for whole body lifetime exposure from the womb forever which is absolutely and coming back they tend to target one or two people in the country, no more, to say, this is deemed safe, our experiments show it is safe, there are radio waves, we've had radio waves forever, sign here. And I've been to one country, Malta, uh, where I spoke to the government in Malta, and, when, and I said, look, forget the government, they don't have degrees in nuclear and atomic physics, and wouldn't know one end of, generally, a microwave from the other. Who are they asking? Ministers. Who are they asking? And then you start going up the pyramid and you'll find that in most countries there's one or two or three people. In Malta it was one. They went for one person and he said yes. Thank you very much. Where's my salary? And, and the country then, and this is in the contract, if you take them down, you have to pay the industry the, the money they would have got had it been left up and expanded and expanded and expanded. And in this country, you cannot take them down. They actually, as the moment they go up, which comes back to your MPs, the moment they go up, and people don't know this, they come under the Official Secrets Act because you get a transmitter go up and then Secret Services go, thank you very much, we could use that there, bonk, yeah. and then other departments, government, bonk, 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 and it grows like Meccano in Lego. And they say, that comes under the Official Secrets yeah. Act. They're being disguised as trees. Uh, and, and there's yep. nothing you Mast. can do. So yep. there, once it's up, it's under the Official Secrets Act. MPs sign the Official Secrets Act. They cannot do anything to take them down. Right. In fact, it's illegal for the MPs. Yeah, I guess so so the, the person who owns the land who's signed off on that mask can then have legal action taken against, against him. That's right? what, the, yeah. Using that document, the, um, yeah. what is it, the Working Employers? Yeah. Um, do you remember what, what it's called again, Barry? Yeah, I, 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 health and safety. Well, yeah, the bankers, I'll put it up on the yeah. YouTube, yeah, to sue the person who's Well, the bankers off. are going to sue them. The bankers will yeah. lend the money to build the, to yeah. build the, 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 the equipment, the assets on the yeah. land. They're going to come back and take their forms. Because obviously the bank sue them, yeah. right? And then they come and take them up for free. So any, any farmer putting this equipment on his land, you're going to lose your form. But right. what the industry have done, when you sign now in this country... This, and I'm not trained in law, but it's just, as I understand it from talking to legal people, when you sign it, then it's either the school principal or the school governor that is now legally no, yeah, responsible, yeah, right. or yeah. the factory owner or the council. But you'll find, I think, councillors and MPs are immune from prosecution. Unless, and somebody said this to me, you to unless me you bring a civil charge against them, using their Christian name, John Smith, you signed for this under the civil law, you have caused my daughter to die, I am taking you to court. 
then they don't have their immunity. What you can do, Barry, you can actually sue them on that. It's a, uh, it's a law. Uh, yeah. All these public officials have what's called a duty of care law. Yeah. All right. And if they, they're in misfiance in a, misfiance in a public office, yeah. can carry with it a life sentence. Yeah. What we are, and that's what we're about. Yeah. We're actually organising now to get these in characters in court because obviously the gated council yeah. thing is absolutely outrageous what happened there yeah but let, let's just be absolutely sure they are murdering children yeah, yeah causing the miscarriages and suffering of the mothers it is industrial murder, murder. by stealth yeah. yeah simple as that and the people signing don't actually know what they're signing no, no, but no. it, it no, is no. genocide and these people are guilty of genocide and I would like to see the world court take them for trial.